this is the GA2100 carbon core G-Shock and this is the GM6900 metal cover G-Shock. Both of these didn't have a lot to offer in terms of functions, yet they both cost you 200 bucks if you were to buy one today. Which one will you get? This, this, or the watch that I'm gonna talk about today, this one, GWN1000 triple sensor solar wave setter G-Shock master of the watch at the same amount of price. Let's talk about this. Why am I bringing this up today? Well, that is because of the price. I just realized the price for this thing has dropped all the way to 200 bucks and that really changed the uh, used market game. If you're on the market looking for a triple sensor master of GG Shock watch right now, I believe you could either get the Rangeman or this one. You guys already know that the Rangeman will cost you the same amount of price, even brand new. But let's talk about something that not a lot of people realize of, which is this one. Okay, if you want to buy brand new, of course, you'll end up paying 400 bucks. But if you are okay with used conditions, 200 bucks is the right amount of price, which I would recommend you to pay for this thing. Okay, uh, granted, it is in used condition. You can see some used mark, especially on this strap area over here, and some scratches on the swatch band keeper. But that is still pretty decent enough. There aren't any scratch on the mineral glass in my case. And also check the back plate as well. Look at how gorgeous the back plate on this watch is. Look at that. It's just so mesmerizing to look at the combination between matte finish and hairline. By the way guys, this watch is fully made in Japan as well. But they still have a few issues and I believe that's the reason why people aren't looking for this watch as often as they should be. That's regarding the hands which have been reported to be malfunctions after you got it even in brand new. And there's also issues regarding the strap to be a bit uncomfortable. And since it uses a proprietary lug structure, you cannot change the strap to a different one anymore if you break this, if you scratch this, or it is too long, if it is not comfortable, you just end up with this, you cannot change it anymore. And the most common issues that I heard is the watch band keeper. Despite the name, it didn't serve what it was supposed to. It didn't keep the band in place. It slides down, up and down like that, and it is pretty annoying to be worn sometimes. And that's the reason why I wore my Golf Master on bracelet instead of resin. Okay, those are the bad things. Okay, let's talk about the good thing about the watch. I just got it for a few weeks actually. I didn't share this at all before. I keep using it, you know, just playing around with this again after a few years of not owning it. And I just realized one thing that I never realized before. In my opinion, this is the most convenient Master of GG Shark triple sensor watch that you could buy today. I believe this is it. There's no other G Shark Master of G watch that is as convenient as this one in terms of watch setting and sensor calibrations, which let's face it, we have to do every single time when the weather change, when you are about to start an activity, or when you just want to tamper with the timer, alarm, and all the watch setting. You're gonna end up either unscrewing the crown like this one which is gonna take time or if you are using a full digital G-Shock watch you're gonna end up pressing the adjust and wait for a few seconds to begin with the watch setup in this case check this out ready unlock the crown pull it once and you could begin with the watch setup right away the GWA 1100 gravity master also have this feature but that watch aren't triple sensor like this so there you go okay speaking of the functions let's have a quick rundown literally on what this watch could offer right now it is showing me the day date and time in analog format and type displaying that it is going low if i press the adjust buttons i could change that digital display to date and tendency graph basically for weather prediction and then i could change that to digital time display next will be world time now i have dual time display in this watch next moon age where you could use to predict the sunrise and sunset even tied the strengths if i'm not mistaken next you'll have day date again since this watch is a full solo wave setter watch you could just tilt your wrist to close the full led lights both of which one's for the uh, analog and one for the digital segment but you don't have to fully rely on that since all of the indices including the hands could also close in the dark but Side note, the LED lights aren't as bright as the second generation Quad Sensor Golf Master, but it's good enough for its series. Now, big feature for the watch, triple sensor. All you have to do is press this lower right button to access that, press it once. Now we are in the altimeter mode. If you want to calibrate this rating before you begin your hiking, unlock the crown, pull it out, and reset this to zero. And then you could start with your hiking activity right away you are good to go this second hand right now it is showing the differential in uh, 
if from a second precision of every 10 meters or you could change that to show you uh, seconds instead if you require pressing this button again will go to temperature mode notice that the hand will move out of the way slightly for a few seconds to show this digital display and then move back into place let's see now if we enter the barometer mode the hands will move again in here there's your barometer reading times the graph and this differential to highlight this ring around here next compass mode the hands won't move anymore because the gear has already been used for the moving second hand to display north direction that is all for the sensor of the watch pressing mode button once will brings you to the world time 28 cities pre-registered in even written down around here you could reset this time to utc if you wanted to or if you want to swap time between your local and city world time just use the adjust button next you have a tight feature in here you're gonna need to calibrate this in one of course basically it works the same way like most g shock watch hourly tide predictions at 7 8 a.m 9 a.m so i could know in advance if the tide is low or high if one of the second the precision could goes all the way to a month depending on where you live of course next a stopwatch to 24 hour range 100 seconds precision with split time and notice that since this watch came in positive display it is so clear so easy to use Next, a countdown timer, sadly, to only 60 minutes, but it is so easy to set up, which I really love to play around with sometime. And when I'm done, just lock it back, press start, good to go, no auto repeat in here, and that's pretty much it. Next, alarm, two five of them with signal, if you want to set it up again, unlock the crown, pull it once, set the time, and lock it back in. Just turn it on or off afterwards using the adjust, and if you're wondering how it sounds like, press this lower right, and hold it done lastly ready control basically if you want to receive the signal to adjust the time automatically just pull it once set it to on if your place received the signal in my case i didn't receive the signal at all so i'm just going to leave it off to conserve the battery even though i really don't have to since this watch is full solar wave sector model and that's all that you could do with the watch For the fit, this is how it looked like, check this out, barely any gap at all between my wrist and the watch and I just have to wear it at hose number 2 from the top, there's a bit of extended tongue on the sides for my skinny 15cm wrist, if you have a bigger wrist no problem, and again this watch bank keeper so far is holding up very well but over time it could slide out like that and that's super inconvenient so I would recommend you to change this to resin watch band keeper and the rest is so far so good you could easily operate the watch since the button is so big and if you want to ever set the watch just unlock the crown with a single strike like that and it is unlocked already just pull it out and you could begin with the watch setup without taking the watch off your wrist which you have to do if you are using one of this model and that is again one of the big feature about this watch the convenience of the watch setting while the watch is on your wrist so uh, overall if you are looking to get one there are 12 variants but keep in mind only two of them that came in positive display like this one being this blue and silver and glossy blue and gold the rest will have negative display and out of all 12 again only four of them has metal forged bezel like this one the rest will have laser edge bezel if you are on the market looking for one, try to get one that has this uh, metal forge instead because it just feels much more premium, it just looks much better in my opinion, it's worth the money even more in comparison to the rest.